Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John's report is for the 18th. I'm recovering from a little bit of a stomach ailment, but uh, I think it was some of the chocolate from Valentine's Day that I was having the other night. Oh well, the market did uh, pretty much what we expected. We were looking for some softness because we saw the fade off of the uh, steel. Uh, from a daily standpoint as well, we've been weak with midterm buyers. Uh, this is sort of like we had that push for new fund money coming in and then just the draw across. We, you know, as far as shorts go, there's still been plenty of short activity. And from an intraday standpoint, it's, it's fulfilled its um, goal, so to speak. Uh, just hasn't been um, strong enough to overcome the current. And that's you know, if you look at the NASDAQ here, we had that rising gold. It had plateaued and it's been kind of plateaued. And then we ended up with the Azure rising. And like I said, usually when those two meet is when we get a decline. And well, we're getting a first red candle developing on the NQ right now. So that could be the beginning of uh, you know, some degree of uh, pullback. Let it play as it is. The Euro, of course, giving back a little bit again as this it's going to be holding right, I mean, well, it has held right around that 120. It should uh, be well below this, but uh, could have, should have, you know, those belong in a different world. Uh, the, the real world is the Fed wants a higher exchange rate to help U.S. exports to some degree, and um, that's what it does. From a gold standpoint, again, not a whole lot of uh, activity uh, from an upside simply because there's no... Uh, inflationary pressures to drive that. So we started off uh, with early weakness here. Uh, when we look at our 5K, we were just bouncing around a little bit of chaos, and then we ended up with clean DLC spread that started right back here, but it was happening under the rise of gold. And so then when it got flat, the rejection of green to cyan became a much stronger trigger, and that led to the fill of uh, quite a few of those positive extremes. Um, then we had no steel reset kept getting uh, pops going back and forth uh, in between. And so this was a matter of you ended up with the rising red and the turnaround. Uh, and then uh, even if you waited a bar to broke into the new zone uh, with the orange dip going. Interestingly enough though, never could get green crossing above um, throughout the whole run of it. And um, even if you took the consideration of like right here, it's a much closer play, but you had the steel coming below, orange coming above, certainly reasonable within that. The only objection I have is that's under rising uh, shakeout. I like to see it when the shakeout is at least flattened out uh, and starting to roll. And so uh, my expectation right here when this first came in was that, uh, okay, rising gold again, it's going to be a short-lived uh, kind of short setup. And sure enough, I mean, it bounced around. And as soon as it plateaued and you had the cleaner signal, you can see that one produced much more clean result uh, going forward. And then as we moved back towards the end of the day, we ended up with this series of P2s. Uh, you can move to a P3 going uh, finally before, but the shakeout was greatly improved. Um, and then you ended up with the orange spike coming underneath. Green had already crossed above, uh, and so that began. Uh, what was the run that brought us all the way back up uh, until the end of the day, and here's where we're at right now. Uh, at that point, we produced positive extremes, uh, beginning right in between the middle range right here, and then certainly the ones that started right at the bottom right here that have all been filled right around that uh, 3916 range. So it's been quite a fun play. I mean, we've been up at the, you know, 39.50 range and then all the way back down here to 39 even. Uh, 39.03 was uh, this algo. The low reach, 39.04.50. So relatively speaking, uh, the market is very clean, very orderly in general. I don't see any objection to what we're looking at status-wise of uh, the behavior and the range, I think, from an intraday uh, movement, I would say is quite nice and uh, rather directional. A lot of times uh, when there's a lot of uncertainty, you get like what we had at the end of the pre-market the other day where it just bounces up and down and there's no real coherency to it. Uh, these are the nice trend runs for the algos, so it makes it uh, very easy to just stick with it. As always, though, 
trade well, I will put anything relevant on the Skype chat. Talk later.